Hello everyone, I have a quick story for you. So a few years back, my cousin and I were chilling, watching television together. And out of the blue, he asked me a question and the answer to that question has stayed in my mind ever since. He asked me, what do you think is the most used word in the English language? I said, uh, food? Mind you, I think I was probably hungry at that time. But then it finally hit me and I blurted, I! Today, as I ponder on the significance of this overused word, won't you join with me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer? I. That word that seems almost impossible to neglect from our daily vocabulary. Sure, the word is not a bad word, but the significance lies in what it represents. As Christians, as human beings, sometimes we struggle with the idolatry of self. Sometimes we want things to constantly revolve around us, whether it's in our marriage or it's in our friendships or even in our church. Sometimes we want things to always be about us. We want things to always go our way. But the Bible says something important in James chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. A true Christian wants to follow in the footsteps of Christ, and Christ best displays the very meaning of the word humility. How can I be so sure, you may ask? The evidence, my friends, is in the cross. Let me help you to paint that picture in your mind. Jesus Christ left the splendor of heaven to die so that we could have eternal life. There was no I, there was only you. Jesus was publicly humiliated and falsely accused. There was no I, there was only you. And to make matters worse, he was rejected and denied by men who knew him. He was beaten, he was spat upon, he who is holy and worthy of glory was belittled as he was being crucified. There was no I, there was only you. Yes friends, the evidence is in the cross. Christ is certainly the epitome of humility and that's what we ought to strive for. You see, friends, when our minds are fixed on Jesus and when our minds are fixed on our mission in Matthew chapter 28, then we will not pride ourselves on our own accomplishments, but we will acknowledge that our talents and our gifts are to be used in the glory and honor of God. When we follow Christ's example, we will start to reduce ourselves to leave room for Jesus. After all, without him, I am nothing. But of course, it is not easy at all. And that's why we are going to be praying for this today. We will be praying for Christ's humility to cover us as we deny self daily. We will pray for the growth of our church, spiritually, socially, and financially. And we'll be praying for the evangelistic efforts and the community outreach projects happening around the world right now. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this message, this very important message of humility. Lord, I pray for every single person watching this devotional right now that we will learn to or we will want to grow closer to you so that we will reduce in ourselves and increase in you. Lord, for all the community outreach projects and the evangelistic campaigns that are happening around the world, in the world church right now, Lord, I pray that your will will be done and people will want to have a closer relationship with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning into our 100 Days of Prayer devotional series. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow us on all our social media pages at sure to the SDA Church. My name is Abigail Whittingham. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!